There we go. Okay. So just so everyone knows that this is the last week. Um, I'm going to keep all of the recordings up in the Dropbox um, probably for at least another week. So um, please, please go on there and, and watch them and, and practice with them again. Like that's what they're there for. If you wanted to do that a couple more times, um, yeah, go into the Dropbox. And then also if you want a, a, a bit more of um, a variety of classes, remember I have all the classes loaded on my YouTube channel. There's I think there's almost 60 of them. So yeah, def definitely go on YouTube and check out some of the classes as well um, for the next few weeks. And then we'll be back in January. I'll be back in January. So hopefully you'll, you'll join me again. Um, let's start on our seat tonight. So unless you have this um, desire to really lay down right now, um, we're going to start on our seat and then we'll we'll make our way down to the to the floor reclined. Um, for the last portion of class. And let's take a couple full breaths in and then full breaths out. And take a moment to allow your day to just dissolve from you. So just allow everything that led up to this moment to just be in the past and everything that hasn't happened yet to just be in the future and see if you can bring all of yourself here into this present moment and give yourself the gift of this time for the next 75 minutes to just really breathe into your body and nurture your body in a way that supports you. And then finding a rhythm for your breath that works for you. So breathing in and then breathing out and your inhale and your exhale could be the same length or perhaps today your exhale is a little bit longer, a little bit slower, if that works for you. And with each exhale, each breath out, think about letting go of stress or letting go of anxiety or letting go of any thoughts that are clogging up into your mind. <clears throat> And if you find it helpful, start to count as you're breathing. So allowing your breath to move at a rhythm that supports you. So it could be four or five or six, perhaps in your breath in. And you can allow your breath out to be the same pace or again, a little bit longer. You may want to be aware of the parts of your body connected to the floor in this moment. And as you're on your seat, you could begin to roll your shoulders back and down a couple times and then lift up through the top of your head. Give your um, body a little bit more space to breathe into. If you have a, an intention for this evening or you'd like to um, draw in an intention for tonight, take a moment to set something that is going to support you. Set an intention for this evening.
And as you continue to breathe in this way, and you may want to bring both of your hands over your heart or one hand over your heart and one hand over your belly. And begin to feel the rising and falling of your belly and your chest as you breathe. So being really aware of your breath moving into your lungs, into your body, and then releasing again. And then again, um, you may want to release your hands, perhaps roll your shoulders back. Your breath in could lift your shoulders up perhaps, and then your breath out could bring your shoulders back down. Or you could bring one shoulder back at a time, or you could even bring your shoulders forward a few times. That's up to you. I always seem to yawn in this class. It's like my whole body just starts to unwind as, I, as I'm practicing and teaching with you. So if your eyes are closed, you may want to open your eyes or just soften your gaze downward slowly. Let's begin a little bit of movement with our arms and our breath. So a breath in, we'll lift our arms up and a breath out, we'll bring our arms down. And of course, depending on your range of motion, so your arms may lift up just part way, and your breath in and then exhale to bring your arms down. If you have a greater range of motion in your shoulders, you may bring your arms all the way over your head as you breathe in and then exhale to lower your hands. So finding a rhythm that works for you. So you may want to um, try to slow your rhythm down. You could move a bit quicker if that works for you. And we'll just take maybe a few more breaths in this way, linking our breath with a little bit of movement to begin here. Next time your arms come down, um, if your legs are crossed, you may want to extend your legs forward and create a bit of movement here. You could also keep your legs extended or you could cross your legs again. And you may want to cross your legs in the opposite way that you just have. Let's continue to make um, a little bit of movement with our breath. So we're actually going to take um, our left hand out, right hand to your right hip. We're going to lean over towards the left. Now, that might be a lot, or it might be just a little, depending how that feels for your hips. And we're trying to keep our hips anchored down. And you can keep your hand on your hip, or you can reach your right arm up, or begin to lean over and reach your upper arm over, depending on how that, again, feels for your shoulder. And then take a couple of full breaths here, perhaps a clearing breath. And then we're going to lift ourselves back to the center and we'll come back. We'll come over now to the other side. And as we come to the other side, um, this side might feel different. So you might lean in a bit more or a little less. You can have your hand on your hip, reach your arm up or over. Just notice how that feels here. And trying to breathe as freely as you can. Where it works to look, so sometimes it feels like a strain on your neck to look forward. You can look down, you can look up, whatever feels best for your neck. And then let's come back to the center. Now I'll give a couple options here. You could um, make a bit of movement. So you're going to push off from one side to the other and maybe breathe into one side and breathe out to the other. Or you can choose to pause on one side and breathe steadily again here. So that's your choice to move with your breath or to pause, maybe take a couple breaths on each side. Just notice what 
might feel best for your body right now. Or maybe explore a little bit of movement and then take a moment to pause again. I'm going to breathe into the center and then exhale to the side. So you, again, you can continue to move or take a couple breaths where you are on one side and a couple breaths on the other side. And we will come back to the center in just a couple breaths here. And coming back to the center again and let's extend our legs forward and make a bit of movement with our feet. Shake out your legs a little bit. And we're gonna come around to um, tabletop next. Um, if you need to, or you'd like to, place um, a blanket underneath your knees for a bit more support. And let's continue the um, movement with our breath. So a lift of our heart and sit bones as we breathe in perhaps, and then exhale, rounding your spine, chin towards your chest. When you breathe in, you can actually come to more of a neutral spine, especially if that arching feels a bit too intense. Just notice how that feels in your body and continue to move at a pace that works for you. So as you're moving with your breath, it might be a bit slower, maybe a bit quicker than my pace, but finding a pace that works for you. And then let's make a little bit of movement here, um, a little bit more of a fluid movement, moving from side to side, making some circles. Um, you could make some big circles or some little circles. Or free flowing and moving in any way that feels good for you right now. We'll just take a couple more breaths wherever it is that you're moving. And then we're going to make our way into child's pose here. So sitting back on our heels. And as you sit back on your heels or towards your heels, you could support your head um, with a block or your hands in some way to connect your forehead so that you feel that rooting in connection to the ground or your hands. And let's take a few really big breaths into the back of our body. We could sigh it out or clear it out, or again, finding that rhythm. And let your exhale, let your breath out, soften the front of your body, perhaps to the, towards the floor. We'll just spend a couple more breaths here. Now, as you're ready, we're going to come back up to tabletop. Just take a minute to come back up. Now, we've been exploring a little bit of balance in this um, form. So we'll start with extending our right toes back and you could keep your right toes on the floor. Both arms are as straight as you can keep them, shoulders back, um, or you can lift your right leg up off of the, or right foot off the floor so that your ankle and your hip are in line. Again, both hands are planted, or you could take your opposite arm forward for a balance. Now you're gonna have to draw slightly up through your core here, so navel up towards the center of your body. You could also keep both hands planted. Let's take a couple more breaths there. And then as you're ready, bringing both knees back, both hands to the floor, you could pause here or maybe move a couple times through cat and cow. And then we'll come back to the center. Let's extend our left foot back. Your toes can stay down on the floor or lift up. Your both hands can stay planted or you can reach your right arm forward. 
You're finding whatever supports you here tonight, which may be, may be different than the last time you came to your mat. And then as you're ready, in the next breath or two, coming back um, to tabletop. And this time, let's now get back down to child pose and then option to take both arms over towards the left or maybe, or just taking your right arm across slightly and your left arm alongside you. So either here or here. And either way, connecting back into your breath. Letting your shoulders relax. And then when you're ready, if you've taken, um, a slight that slight twist um, let's come to the other side When you're ready, let's come back up to the center. And today we're going to come um, to the front of our body. So we've been here uh, a couple of times before. So we'll come to the front of our body. And we're going to start with both of our hands um, stacked out in front of us, elbows wide. And bring your forehead down to the floor. And if it's okay for your lower back, bend both your knees and Maybe moving your feet a few times side to side, um, or you can keep your feet lifted and circle your ankles a few times here. And then taking a couple of full breaths. Bring your feet back, your legs back to the center. When you're ready, hands come underneath your shoulders. Now let's lift the front of our shoulders and roll them back, looking down towards the floor, lifting your head slightly and lifting through your core so that your upper body lifts a bit. And as you lower, let's release our arms alongside of us and turn one cheek to the floor. Take a couple clearing breaths here. And then when you come back, option to have your hands underneath your shoulders again, or coming to your forearms, elbows slightly forward of your um, shoulders, shoulders rolling back. If this feels too pinching in your lower back, lower back down with your hands underneath your shoulders. Some big breaths here. And then when you're ready, again, we will come down, turn your, uh, you can bring your arms alongside you, turn your other cheek to the floor and take a couple breaths here. If you like, again, you can always bend your knees and move your feet from side to side a few times. Okay, so one last option. So up on your forearms again, or hands underneath your shoulders. And if your hands are underneath your shoulders, you could lift your feet and your legs slightly. Um, if you're on your forearms, you might wanna bend your knees and just see how that feels. That might be a bit much. So you keep your feet um, 
<clears throat> if it's comfortable for these last couple breaths and you're on your forearms, you can bring your chin towards your chest. And then wherever you are, just bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. We'll press back to tabletop for a moment, or you might want to start to round your spine a little bit. And then we're going to sit all the way back into child's pose when you're ready. Some big breaths into your lower back and lower belly. All right, so tonight um, we're going to um, come into a lunge and we'll come into a very low lunge and we'll start with our um, right foot forward. So bringing your right foot forward, forward, and then your back knee that's right underneath your hip, perhaps moving it back just a bit. Now let's bring our hands to the inside of our front foot. So that might mean bringing your right foot a little wider. I'm going to turn my toes out to the side a little bit. And um, so option here, if you have yoga blocks, is to bring your hands to blocks to lift yourself up a little bit higher away from the floor, okay? Or you can lower yourself lower to the floor. And we're going to take a few breaths here. So if you want to move from side to side a little bit, or if you need to come out at all and then move back in, please move in a way that supports you. Especially a cushion underneath your back knee might be a bit more supportive as well, or a little bit blanket. Now, you're welcome to also keep your um, left hand down and turn towards your right leg. So, take a bit of a twist here. You can do that for as many breaths as you as you like, or you can stay in the center. We'll be here just for a few more breaths. Try to uh, let go of any tension as you breathe out anything that's coming to the surface. So let's move back um, towards tabletop. And then we're going to move eventually to the other side. If you need to make a bit of movement between, in between, feel free to do that first. And we'll step our left foot forward. And again, hands come to the inside of your front foot. Your front foot can turn out a little bit. It just helps to move your knee out. Your blocks can help to lift you higher up. Um, if you have blocks, then you can stay on your hands on the floor. Um, some of you also may want to lower down a little bit lower and come to your forearms on blocks, perhaps. And then a connection to our breath. Even some clearing breaths here. Don't go of any stress, any tension. For those of you that took that uh, twist on the other side, um, you may want to also come to the twist on this side. I'll be here for a few more breaths. Remember, you can always come out sooner. Anytime you need to. And again, as you're ready, let's come back out. Now, this becomes very personal. You may want to make some move, you may want to move here a little bit, um, but you also perhaps when we come back to child's pose. So choose what you need as a bit of a release or a center in here.
Now we're going to come to a standing forward fold next. So as you um, as you're ready, coming to stand in a fold either with your elbows resting above your knees. You can bend your knees as much as you need to for your lower back and for your legs. Um, some of you may want to let your arms relax towards the floor or hold opposite elbows. And then as you're breathing here, connecting into some full breaths, exhale, let your head release a bit more and see if you can let go of any tension out of your upper body. Sometimes I like to sway slightly from one foot to the other or from the heels of my feet to the fronts of my feet. I'm going to slowly come up to standing if you're not there already. So bend your knees and slowly lifting yourself up. As you come to stand, sometimes it's nice to just move your body a little bit, shake things out a little bit. And then we're going to come to stand on both feet when you're ready in mountain pose. So similar to our um, when we started on our seat, shoulders rolling back and down, top of your head lengthening. We're going to engage our core by drawing the navel in slightly if that feels okay for you. And let's really feel the center of our bodies right now. And then let's really connect to the floor so we feel some grounding and connection to the ground. Um, this, this time of year in particular seems to um, Start to draw us away from our center and this year in particular on top of that. So as much as you can find that connection to your feet when you're walking even, um, or if you're heading out in nature, to just really be deliberate and notice your feet on the ground will help to keep you rooted and connected a bit more. And then of course, um, coming back to your breath. So feeling your breath even with your hands, just gently on your belly and chest for a moment. And at least for me, it helps me bring me back into my body, bring me back into the present moment. Okay. So we're going to start in Warrior One tonight. You may want blocks if you have yoga blocks, because we will actually come into Pyramid Pose tonight as well. So left foot back, right foot forward. Um, let's face our hips forward and bend gently into our front knee and feel the anchoring down through your back leg. So feel this as a, a rooting, a connection to the ground as much as your front foot. And then slight engagement through the center and your hands can be on your hips. You can take this as a goddess or cactus arm. Um, or perhaps tonight, you might want to clasp your hands behind you and open up through the front of your heart center a bit more by either rooting your knuckles down um, or just drawing your elbows towards one another. Let's take just a couple more breaths here. And then as you're ready, we're going to release our hands down to our hips, straighten out our front leg. And nice and slow, you could, if you don't have blocks, you could bring your hands above your knee and bend your knee a bit more. Um, you could also bring your hands to blocks. Now I'm going to shorten my uh, stride a bit because I feel like my back heel wants to lift. And I want to keep that anchor if I can. Um, and then from here, you're welcome to stay lifted up part way or relax your shoulders and your chin and fold in a bit more. So just feeling what you need to do to relax your upper body as much as possible and still feeling a stretch to the backs of the legs here.
And then as you're ready, we'll slowly step our feet into a standing forward fold again. So your feet are running parallel to one another. We'll clear your breath if you need. And then taking your time, slowly come back up to standing. And then we're going to step our right foot back and then left foot forward. So we'll start with the bending our front knee, hands on our hips. Feel the anchoring and the rooting down through your back leg. Again, slight engagement through this, uh, through your center. And then wherever you want your arms, so you can even float your arms beside you. Notice how your shoulders feel. So taking your arms overhead might put too much strain on your neck and your shoulders. Perhaps having your arms lower. Um, we'll just reduce that a bit here. Connecting into your breath. And then let's begin to bring our hands back to our hips, stringing out our front leg and hinging forward. So again, you could have your hands above your knee with your knee bent. You can have your hands on blocks or on the floor and just your stride as you need. You may, again, like I did, you want to shorten it up a bit or, or not. And then wherever it is that you are connecting, maybe some clearing breaths or some full breaths in or full breaths out. And then as you're ready, we will step forward into our forward fold. Letting your head relax. We need a couple more clearing breaths here. And then as you're ready, we'll come all the way back up to standing. And I'm going to make a bit of movement here again. Circle my ankles a few times. My feet have been cracking a lot lately. And we're going to come to face the long edge of our mat tonight and take a wider, wide ish stride. Okay. Now you want to have a stride that feels comfortable, not so that you feel like you're going to slip and hurt yourself. Um, but you want to feel like, you know, you have, you're going to have a little bit of stretch through your ankles as you, as you uh, fold forward. So we are going to fold forward. You can start with your hands on your hips if you like, and we'll take a breath in here. And then as you fold forward, bending your knees, and if you can reach the floor, reach the floor. If you can't, if we have blocks, you can bring your hands to blocks. And if you can't reach the floor and you're feeling comfortable grabbing opposite elbows, go ahead and do that. Or you can bring your legs close enough again to bend your knees and rest your elbows just above your knees. And then it, trying to release any tension from your neck, let your head get heavy and connect back into your breath here. And in the next breath or two, you can walk your feet in a bit closer if you want, if it's comfortable, and then let's stand all the way back up. And then let's walk our feet in when you're ready. And again, any movement that you need to make or won't make. And then let's stand in mountain pose, both feet on the floor. Top of your head lengthening out. OK. 
Okay. So every week we've been working on tree pose. And remember, you can come closer to a wall or something for stability. And you can keep your toes on the floor or bring your foot to the inside of your leg. Okay, so just below your knee, arms can rest beside you or overhead or anywhere that's comfortable really on the hips. Sometimes people bring their hands to their heart. Anytime you need to regain balance, you can bring your toes back down. And I find it helpful again, we've been working with drawing our navel in, so I find that helpful here, drawing navel up and in and lengthening up. So finding this connection downwards through your leg, upward through the top of your head, but then supporting in the center. Couple more breaths. And as you're ready, we will release that. <sighs> we're clearing breaths, maybe make a little bit of movement before coming back to mountain pose. And then let's explore the other side. And as each week goes by, you may notice one side does feel different than the other. And at the same time, we're finding the support in the center, lengthening through the top of your head and then the rooting through your feet. Wherever it's comfortable for your arms. And see if you can connect back into your breath here. A couple more breaths if you're still with me. And as you're ready, relax, release, and shake it out a little bit. One more time in mountain pose when you're ready. Oh, here we go again. Oh, okay, let's make our way down to our seat. <laughs> oh, we get a bit of a tea. Of tea. I've been talking a lot at work this week, and I feel like I'm um, going to lose my voice here. Okay. All right, so let's find a seat. And if you have um, something to sit up on, that would be lovely. Um, a cushion or a folded blanket. And we're going to come into a forward fold. Now, I have a yoga strap, which I'm gonna use. And if you don't have a yoga strap, that's okay too. We can do this without a strap. Um, so the option without a strap is to have your hands behind you lengthen and start to perhaps lean forward slightly. If you have a yoga strap or some kind of strap, you can have the strap around the bottoms of your feet and then draw on the strap to lengthen your spine and then lean forward by drawing your elbows back and then trying to relax your shoulder too as well. So finding that length, so if you're leaning back a lot, see if you can lengthen up or tip forward on your block or your blanket. Shoulders down. And you can even look down and relax your head a bit more here. Um, or find whatever is comfortable for your neck and head. If you're looking up, it can cre cre creates a lot of compression in the back of your head and neck. So finding that neutral space, perhaps. Now, if you're using the strap, I find I can tense from my hands all the way up to my shoulders. See if you can just grip with your hands and relax your forearms, relax your biceps and your triceps and your shoulders. Okay. 
And as you're ready, we'll begin to lift up. Now, you can shake your feet out here, legs out. I'm going to lean back and bring my feet to the floor. I like this the most. When moving my knees a few times side to side, it helps to release my back and my hips at the same time. And then let's bring the bottoms of our feet together and come forward again on the block or the blanket. So your feet can be in quite close to your pelvis like this, or you can have them further away so you have more of a diamond shape and to lean forward here. So you can lean forward here, or you can have your hands behind you to lean in a bit. Or you might just be working on lengthening up. Now, if your knees are way, way up towards your chest, and you need some support, a couple of rolled up towel or a couple of yoga blocks just on your other hips to support. So it's great to have props that we can make. Um, we can make props with what we have in our houses as well. Let's take a few more breaths here. And anyway, let's lift up. Let's bring our legs back to center and move our feet a bit here. Okay. okay. I'm thinking we're going to move to lie down. Uh, we're going to do a couple things with either a block a bolster or a folded rolled blanket. Okay, so have um have one of those three things if you have. And let's come to recline back onto our backs. And as you come to your back, um you start with your feet on the ground and your knees bent and you bring one knee, both knees up towards your chest. And you could pause here or move a bit. So we're rocking or circling. And some full breaths. Or some yawning. Yawning's a really great release. So we're going to create a little bit of um, movement for our hips. So let's bring both feet back down. Let's start with our right knee in towards our chest and holding your right knee with your right hand, we're going to move our hip, or, or sorry, our knee out to the side and back to the center. And if that doesn't feel great, keeping your knee either wide to the side or just right into the center towards your chest. If you'd like to also extend your left leg long while you do this, you could extend and open up the front of your hip here. And then bring your knee to the center and let's circle our ankle a few times, perhaps in one direction and then the other, where you can point and flex your toes. And then let's bring our right foot back down to the floor and let's bring our left knee in with our left hand on the top of our knee or shin, um, creating some movement here. Bringing your knee wide and then back to the center. You can also extend your right leg long to the floor if that feels okay. If not, keeping your right foot on the floor. And then let's bring our, our knee back to the center and let's circle this ankle a few times in one direction and then the other. We're pointing and flexing our toes.
and when you're able to bring both feet back down to the floor, feet can come wide and perhaps moving your knees a few times side to side here, and then you see out through your hips. Okay. So for this one, you may or may not use a strap. Um, we're going to start with our right knee towards our chest, either with a strap around the bottom of your foot and extending your um, foot up towards the ceiling, or instead of the strap, you can hold the back of your leg. Your knee may, might need to be bent here a lot or a little bit. And then Either way, trying to relax your shoulders, your head, maybe even closing your eyes here and coming back to your breath. And your left leg can extend long if that's comfortable. It may not be. It may create a lot of tension or your leg might be floating there. So keeping your foot on the floor. Now, if, you're if you have a yoga strap, I like to bring my other foot in before releasing my first foot. Um, you do it however you'd like to do it. And if you're not using a yoga strap, release that side and come to the other side here when you're ready, which again may feel a bit different. Trying to relax your shoulders and perhaps again closing your eyes and focusing back on your breathing. Couple more breaths here on this side. Now, as you're ready, we'll release the second side and any kind of release you like. You can extend your legs forward, you can bend your wipe your knees, give yourself a full body stretch, anything else that you need here. And then let's bring both feet to the ground. So we're either going to use a block or a folded blanket or bolster as support. And we'll start to lift our hips, place the block or blanket underneath your hips and lower your hips down and or the bolster. So whatever prop you have underneath you here, your hips are settled on and then draw your shoulders underneath you to open your heart a little bit perhaps here. Now you're welcome to stay here in the supported bridge with your feet on the floor. Um, you may also want to extend your legs. You might have to adjust your um, palms underneath you to have your legs lifted towards the ceiling. And here you could have some movement again with your ankles or your feet, or you could just let your feet relax. Anywhere that's comfortable for your arms here to um, settle and, and then coming back to your breath. So if you have your feet up in the air anytime you want or need to, bringing your feet back down so that you're in the supported bridge, but you're also welcome to stay here. Um, we're gonna maybe spend about five or six more breaths here, if you're still here. Your legs are still extended. Let's bring our feet back down, either for supported bridge 
or if it's comfortable, you could extend your legs forward. And if this creates too much pinching for your lower back, bringing your feet back to the floor or taking the proper all together. All right, and then as you're ready, let's move the prop from underneath your lower back. Let's bring your knees up and a little bit of movement. So we're gonna come into figure four. So let's bring our left foot down to the floor, right foot on top of your left leg, which may look like this here. Um, or perhaps bringing your left knee towards your chest and holding behind your knee with your hands, or you can even bring your yoga strap behind your knee here. Simple breaths. a few more breaths here. Remember, you can come out anytime you need to. And as you're ready, let's release that side. If you find a release in between or come straight to the other side, that's your choice. Side might feel different, so your variation may change slightly. Wherever it is that you are, facing back to your breath. When you're ready, let's release that side and give yourself any release for your legs and your hips that you need here. A couple of clearing breaths. Perhaps give yourself a full body stretch. And then we're going to take a twist here. So with both feet on the floor, I'm going to give two options. You can move your um, knees up towards your chest and over towards the right side. And However it's, com however it's comfortable for your arms, you may have them closer to your body or more of a stretch. That can be a big twist for some people, so feet wide to the sides and let both your knees draw to the right side. Might be a little bit more tangential for you, so see how that feels. And we'll start with our knees over to the right here. Back to your breath and closing your eyes here. So see if you can take a few more breaths, drawing inward and really noticing your breathing, really noticing your body settling towards the floor. And then just whenever you're ready, coming back to the center and then over to the other side. So 
and always adjusting to allow yourself to settle as much as you can. So you're feeling that you can breathe and that connection to your breath and let, let your body start to settle a bit more towards the forehead. Few breaths on this side. Taking your time when you're ready to come back to the center and find one, one more, perhaps a movement with your knees to chest or feet on the ground, move your knees side to side, or something that brings you back into the center. And then we're gonna move into Shavasana next. So finding a comfortable place to relax. That could be on your back, on your side, or on your seat, wherever it's comfortable. A place that you can close your eyes and allow yourself this time to just be. So if you have um, a sweater or a blanket to put on, keep yourself warm, get yourself comfortable. And give yourself a couple clearing breaths here into your nose and then out through your mouth. And then give yourself the permission to just be here, to just settle, there's nothing else to do. And just settle into a state of surrender and the state of um, just really letting go.
And we'll begin to deepen the breath. your awareness back into your body with some gentle movements, fingers, toes, circling your ankles and wrists a few times, or perhaps rubbing the palms of your hands together. If you're lying down, you could stretch from your fingers to your toes or bring your knees up towards your chest. Taking your time, perhaps settling onto one side and taking a couple breaths there before making your way up to your seat. As you are ready, making your way to your seat, and again, either bringing a hand on your heart or your belly or both hands over your heart. And we'll connect into our breathing again, as well as our intention for this evening. Take a moment to maybe notice or scan or become aware of anything that may have shifted from the beginning of practice to uh, this moment. Did you feel different? Anything changed? Do you think something's the same? And then give yourself some deep, deep gratitude for, for being here, not only tonight, but for these last number of weeks that you've been here, showing up, taking care of yourself. So really thank yourself for this time. And I want to thank you all for being here as well. Thank you so much. And I look forward to continuing this journey with you in the new year. I hope you have a very restful evening. Namaste. Thank you. Well, thanks, everyone. It's been a lovely, um, not just the last four weeks, but the last few months teaching this class. and. Um, yeah, maybe reflecting on how you've been feeling and just know that I've got all those other videos up on YouTube. So, um, yeah, take some time to practice um, this, this month and I look forward to maybe seeing you in the new year again. So thanks again. Wish you all a happy holidays, even though it's sort of weird this year. <laughs> Thank you so much for this, Shannon. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, thank you, Shannon. Yeah, that's great. Wow. See you in the new year for sure. Yeah, I'll see you then. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Bye, Gary. Thank you.